What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. I'm Lloyd. Today we're going to be talking about does she like you or is she playing you? This is a pretty important topic because although women are gorgeous, beautiful, and compassionate creatures, sometimes, or pff, a lot of times, <laughs> they can be very, very manipulative. Um, and if you're not mindful of this sort of thing, you're not smart about it, then you will fall victim to it. Unfortunately, in this life, uh, with people, dealing with people, people, if you are susceptible to being taken advantage of, people will take advantage of you. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why women use men, I'm going to be talking about the behaviors to look for. I'm going to tell you a story about this as well, too. Uh, and then I'm also going to give you the right mindsets to have this never happen to you again. So if you watch this video, you're going to have the tools to be able to prevent you from getting played ever again in your life. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to cover is are the reasons that women use men or play men um, it's because they're trying to get something from them now a lot of times in the, the common trope in society is that men use women for sex men are trying to get sex from women that's what we use women for but women use men for a variety of reasons um, whether it, you don't even have to be smart you don't even have to be good looking you don't even have to be rich dude because <laughs> the most common one that uh, that guys say is that women are looking for money um, yes a lot of women do that um, but that's I don't even know if that's the most common reason for uh, uh, for women using men it could be that you uh, maybe she's looking to get married maybe she's looking to start a relationship have kids uh, maybe she likes a certain lifestyle that you have uh, you know maybe she maybe you are rich maybe she is looking for that you know that's kind of related to lifestyle too maybe she is looking for that highfalutin uh, rich style lifestyle or maybe you just know a bunch of people that she wants to know and she's looking to get into like certain parties or something like that you know I've had all of these happen to me okay women will use you for a variety of different reasons and they're they use their flirtatious and sexual nature because it works so you got to be present and smart about this whole thing and the way you be smart about it is don't trust what she says okay pay attention to her actions do not pay attention to her words too many of the guys that i talk to about this they'll give me an example to say lloyd you know i'm having i'm talking to this girl and i'm having some problems with her and i'm like okay well what's happening and they'll say well when we hang out it's really really great she's happy to see me uh she i can tell she really really likes me but then when we go away i she doesn't text me quite as much it's really difficult for me to meet her out um and then i'm like stop okay stop right there if you ignore what she says do you think this girl's into you? What, by her actions, what is she doing? What is she communicating? Well, by her actions, she's communicating that she doesn't really see you as a priority. She doesn't really care about you that much. And she's just doing, she's just saying and acting the way that's going to make you like her in that moment, okay? To get what she wants, if she wants something from you. So you have to look at a girl's actions, okay? If they say one thing and do another, look at what they're doing as opposed to what they're saying. And too many guys, they fall into this trap because they want to believe what the person's saying. I actually have a story about this. So, um, you know, I was hooking up, this happened a little bit ago, but I was hooking up with this girl a while back who I thought was freaking super gorgeous. I was so into her. Um, and we were hooking up for like six months or something like that you know, having sex regularly, and the whole time she was telling me how she wanted me to be her boyfriend, and she's saying, oh, you know, we should be together, and she was, like, really pressuring me to, to do this, and the whole time I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not really into that, I don't want to have a girlfriend right now, and she kept, she was, like, very, very persistent about it, and so, like, finally, I decided that I was, that I, I caved in, after about, like, six months, I, I, I caved in, figure you know what you've been seeing this girl for a while you should be with her okay so uh, as soon as I did that um, I got into a relationship with her I'm not joking dude that same week her behavior completely changed before she would show up when I texted her she would like you know she would never turn me down for sex she was always ready and, and happy to be seeing me her behavior completely changed she was very tough for me to get out she would withhold sex from me and on top of that I started to have to pay for everything okay so after this started happening, well, actually, the withholding sex part was, like, enough for me. I'm like, Pfft. as soon as that starts happening, I'm like, all right, I'm leaving, I'm done. So I broke up with her. Um, and as soon as I did this, she called me up. She's, like, really apologetic. She literally said everything that I wanted to hear. She's like, I'm sorry. Like, I just get really scared when I'm in a relationship. And, like, you're, you're a really great guy. And all of this stuff. And then I've, after this phone call, I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, all right, okay. So I got back together with her. We were together for two weeks 
and for those two weeks, her behavior went right back to the way it was before when we were in the relationship. Again, she was, like, very tough to get out. When we were hanging out, she was distracted all the time. Like, all of these things that had been happening before, they happened again. So I broke up with her the final time, and I don't even think she tried to justify it to me. Um, you really got to be... You really got to be careful about this, you guys, because like women will say whatever it is they think you want to hear. And by that point in time, she knew me well enough. She knew what I wanted to hear. Um, but I, what I should have been looking at was her actions the whole time rather than what she was saying. So in order to help you guys out with this, I came up with a list of behaviors to look for. Okay, first thing. She's hot, then she's cold. Obviously, my example, this happened. And by the way, these examples work for a girl that you're only seeing for a short period of time, not just for a girl that you've been seeing for a while, okay? You gotta watch out for these. She's hot, then she's cold, meaning sometimes she's like she's like responding to you a lot or she's really excited to see you, and other times you don't hear from her, she ignores your messages, she responds when she feels like it, um, and then you, you just don't know what's going on with her, okay? That's a big sign. That means she's kind of just seeing you when she wants to. Or she's probably seeing other people too. She's expecting things from you and pressuring you. Obviously, this was an example where uh, you know my girl was really trying to get me into a relationship, and I would say that's a big red flag. If a girl's continually like trying to pressure you into a relationship, um, that she's telling you what she wants, and you know you you might just be a surrogate for that. Okay, so you really gotta assess whether this person's actually like interested in you and she wants to provide you know a good relationship for you, um, or if she's just wants a relationship in general. She says whatever you want to hear, okay? Uh, women are pretty good at this, or some women are pretty good at this, and they will say whatever they think that is just gonna make you happy. Now, women are gonna do this even if they like you, so you have to be kind of like, the, the way to test this out is if they're consistent, okay? so. Obviously, women are going to try and be nice to you if they like you. They're going to, like, be very attentive and stuff, and, and that's good. But if you – let's say you say, I like football, and then she just agrees with you. She's like, I like football too. And then later on you say, nah, I'm not really that into football. And she's like, well, I'm not really that into football either. Obviously, she just changed her opinion based off of whatever you said, okay? So – She's not being true to who she is. She's just agreeing with you, and she's just saying what you want to hear. So that's a good test that you can see if she's just saying what you want to hear or if she's actually being consistent and being true to herself. Okay, she withholds sex from you. Um, if she's like, if she only has sex with you when you buy dinner or when you take her out or when you do, or you buy her a present or something like that, okay, you know, if you're like a celebrity or you're Tiger Woods, <laughs> this, might, this deal might work for you. Okay, you got enough money, you don't really give a shit, you buy her a present, get, get laid, not a big deal. Okay, but if you're looking for someone, you know, someone who really likes you, then you gotta watch out for this, okay? Desire cannot be negotiated. If a woman is making you do things or using sex as a negotiation tool, that's not the right woman for you, okay? This problem is never going to get solved. Find someone who truly desires you. You can't remember things you've said or details that you've mentioned in the past. If she doesn't remember anything about you, she doesn't remember that you have a sister or a brother, she doesn't remember what your job is, she's never uh, taken the time to observe your, like, your hobbies or congratulate you on things, dude, this girl doesn't give a shit about you, man. She only cares about what you can do for her. Watch out. She's always distracted when you hang out. If she's always distracted, like, kind of looking around, seeing what's better... I mean, this could be just like you literally talk to a girl at the bar. I mean, if I see a girl doing that sort of shit to me, I might ask her, like, hey, if she's got something on her mind, or if she's looking for somebody, and if she just, like, brushes, brushes it off and gives me an excuse, then I'm thinking, you know, I'm giving this a very, very short time limit before I get up and leave. You pay for everything and she never offers or thanks you. Okay, I would say sometimes, like, even the girls that are manipulating you, they will thank you because they're smart and they know that that's, like, a nice gesture. Like, even just saying thank you is cool. But if she's never offering, she kind of expects you to pay and you've been seeing her for a little bit of time, or you've been seeing her for, like, you know, it's been, like, four or five dates or something like that, you pay for everything, dude, this girl is not... She should at least, at the very least, offer or contribute something. She does things when she wants to. So this is kind of the back coming back to the, when she's hot and cold. 
if she's hot and cold and she's just kind of like seeing you whenever she feels like dude like this this person is not she's only seeing you at your convenience maybe the guy that she really was interested in didn't text her back and she needs someone to go out with saturday night um you know or maybe she's bored okay that's not the right girl for you man always talks about her problems and never cares about yours if you if she's talking for like a, you know a super long time about how see, this thing at work happened and then when you come in with your thing and she's like changes the subject or she just brushes it off or then begins to start talking about another thing that's going on in her life yeah fuck this girl man like she is not cool <laughs> she only cares about herself and she's only looking to see what you can do for her some of these examples I listed are probably going to sound pretty obvious to you. You're going to think, oh, Lloyd, well, obviously, like, I should look for those things. But the problem with a lot of guys, and you've seen this happen, I bet you. I bet you you've had conversations with your buddies where you talk to them for an hour about this stupid girl that they're hanging out with. And you're just like, dude, break up with her, walk away. That's the solution, <laughs> you know? I knew within the first five minutes of this conversation, but now we've been talking for an hour about it. It's because you're too emotionally involved. If the girl's super hot or you're totally in love with this girl um you probably can't see straight and you're probably thinking that uh you, you try and rationalize things you start believing what she says and all that sort of stuff um that's a bad place to be in man you have to take a step back remove your emotions from it and truly see the interaction or the relationship for what it is do a pros and cons list and if there's more cons man you gotta get out of there and you gotta bite that bullet chomp down and get out of there the other problem in this interaction is so many guys are asking the question they're like but i know she likes me or like i'm pretty sure she likes me dude who gives a shit if she likes you that's a loser mentality to have if you if you care about like whether a girl likes you or not that's your main priority dude you're you're not caring about yourself enough okay you have to see if this girl is providing value for you that's the biggest test that's how a high value guy thinks is if this person is providing and contributing something to my life that's what he cares about he doesn't give a shit if this girl likes him a high value guy has plenty of girls who like him you have to be that kind of guy so I think this comes back also too to having options. If you don't, if you don't have options and you're, and you're in scarcity, sometimes you'll make a bunch of excuses to stay with a girl when there really should be only one answer, and that's go out, find other girls. Okay, so be going out regularly, have options so you don't fall victim to this. And when you do find that girl that is providing value for you, that is contributing to your life, you will see her for who she is as a great, awesome, high-value girl that you should get with. And that's the kind of life that I want for you guys, okay? Remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Bottom line, guys, I know this is a rule. You know, I teach guys on this channel how to get the girls that they want in their life, but a lot of times they're wasting time with the wrong girls, okay? So a rule of thumb that I use, and this is a guy who's like, you know, been around the block tons of times. I've hooked up with a lot of different girls, been in plenty of different relationships. Look, man, you cannot get emotionally invested in a girl until she's proven herself to you, okay? Don't let your emotions get tied down to this. That's how you start having these problems. That's how you start having a problem like the one that I had, okay? And I don't want that to happen to you guys, okay? I want you to be that high-value mentality, have options, and if a girl proves herself to you, she provides value to you, then you pick her, okay? So that's the mentality to have, you guys. Hope this helped. If you have any questions about this, put them in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program where I teach guys exactly about this, you're going out regularly, dude, hit me up. TheSingleGuy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there, y'all.